Our first queen candidate is Darnasia Mikhail Anderson. Asia has been a member of Spirit Club, Interact Club, Fishing Club, Key Club, Sharp, FBLA, Yearbook Staff, Viking Brew, Tennis and Softball, and Varsity Basketball. John Asia received the Freshman Film Movie Award, Athlete of the Week, and Foreign Language Student of the Month, and Success 101 Student of the Year. After graduation, John Asia is undecided on what college she is attending, but plans to major in nursing with a minor in communications. Her advice to underclassmen is to do what makes you truly happy. You can't always please everyone. So do what you love with no hesitations. Ladies and gentlemen, John Asia Anderson. <laughs> Our first King candidate is Jordan Nathaniel Zahn. <laughs> Jordan is the son of Dustin and Trina Zahn. During his time at SHS, Jordan has been a member of Key Club, Fishing Club, Math Club, Basketball, Football, and Baseball. Jordan has received many football honors, such as All-City Honorable Mention Wide Receiver, All-League Honorable Mention Wide Receiver, and 5A All-State Honorable Mention Wide Receiver. After graduation, Jordan plans to play football at Highland Community College and to study criminal justice. Jordan's advice to underclassmen is to be a leader and don't let other people's opinions change who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Zong. is Haley Faye Hershey. Our second queen candidate is Haley Faye Hershey. Haley is the daughter of Mitchell and Sharon Hershey. As a student at SHS, Haley has been a member of Spirit Club, Interact Club, Viking Brew, Girls Basketball, Fishing Club, and captain of the girls soccer team. Haley is a four-star sharp student, a part of the state basketball team her sophomore and junior year, and received perfect attendance her freshman year. After graduation, Haley plans to attend Kansas State University to study either elementary education or pre-optometry. Her advice to underclassmen is people are going to judge you no matter what you choose to do, so you might as well choose what makes you happy. Ladies and gentlemen, Haley Hershey. <laughs> Our second King candidate is Riley Pete Senny. <laughs> Riley is the son of Brandon Senny and Michelle Sales. As a student at SHS, Riley is involved in sharp, marching band, wind ensemble, jazz band, orchestra, chamber orchestra, pit for the musical, Northeast Kansas Honor District, District Honor Jazz Band from 2018 to 2020, Northeast Kansas District Honor Orchestra, and Topeka Youth Jazz Ensemble. Riley earned Battle of the Bands champions in 2018 and 2020. Orchestra Freshman Student of the Year, Outstanding Soloist at 2019 Washburn Jazz Festival, Music Student of the Month, and the Summer Program Scholarship Award from Washburn University. After graduation, Riley plans to attend Berkeley College of Music in Boston to major in audio production and engineering. Riley's advice to underclassmen is to stream Carjay's EP Back to the Basics on Spotify and Apple Music. Ladies and gentlemen, Riley Senny. As a student at SHS, Molly is president of Stuco, member of the Math Club, Vikings United, Girls Golf, Girls Basketball, Scholars Bowl, Yearbook, National History Day, and the Museum Studies Program, Viking Group, Viking Crew, Bank, Debate, and FBLA. Molly is a two-time National History Day state qualifier and national qualifier with top 20 at nationals, SHS Blue Team Student of the Month and Biology Student of the Year, SHS Social Studies Student of the Month, Four-star Starp student and SHS Gilder Learman Award recipient. After graduation, Molly plans to attend Creighton University seeking an undergraduate degree in math. Her advice to underclassmen is to think long and hard about your decision to commit to the path of graduating SUMA. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly McLaughlin. Our third team candidate is Kyle Andrew Adams. Kyle is the son of Steve and Amber Adams. As a student at SHS, Kyle has played football, wrestling, and has been a part of SVTV. Kyle has lettered in wrestling all four years, lettered in football, and honorable mention in a 60-second commercial for Kansas Association of Broadcasters. After graduation, Kyle plans to attend Washburn University and earn a bachelor's in pre-law and later attend law school. 
Kyle's advice to underclassmen is that friends will always come and go through high school, but Max Sticks will always be there for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Adams. Our first, our first, our fourth queen candidate is Allie Marie Reed. <laughs> Allie is the daughter of Sarah and Damon Reed. While at SHS, Allie has been a member and captain of the auxiliary dance team, captain of cheer, SVTV, public relations officer of Viking Brew, vice president of information technology for Bank, Spirit Club, Interact Club, French Club, FBLA, History Day, and yeah. Sharp. Allie received Honors Math Freshman Student of the Year, Blue Team Student of the Month, Best Film and SFC Film Festival, Broadcast Student of the Month, Washburn Dean's Honor Roll, Four Star Sharp Student, National Qualifier for FBLA, First Place Daily News Show KBA in 2019, and Second Place News Personality KBA in 2020. After graduation, Allie plans to attend LIM Fashion College in New York City to major in fashion, media, and minor in styling. Her advice to underclassmen is if you want to be accepted into National Honor Society, do not, under any circumstances, post on TikTok. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Allie Reed. Our fourth team candidate is Micah John Kovacheski. <laughs> Micah is the son of Jonathan and Jennifer Kovacheski. As a student at SHS, Micah is involved in baseball, basketball, Scholars Bowl, FBLA, Spanish Club, Math Club, Key Club, and Viking Crew. Micah has received White Team Student of the Month, Seaman Varsity Basketball Player of the Week, and is a four-star sharp student. After graduation, Micah plans to attend Butler Community College to play baseball and study pre-medicine. Micah's advice to underclassmen is to make the most of your high school experience because you'll never know when some virus is going to come and take it all away. Ladies and gentlemen, Micah Kobacheski. Our final queen candidate, is queen candidate is Jordan Elizabeth Riggles. Jordan is the daughter of Jackie and Lonnie Riggles. As a student at SHS, Jordan has been a member of the Sharp Committee, Public Relations of FBLA, Public Relations of Bank, Swim, Golf, Interact Club, Viking Brew, Spirit Club, Vikings United, and National Honor Society. Jordan is a four-star Sharp student, earned seventh place in 2019 for FBLA Nationals, and was a part of the state swim team freshman year. After graduation, Jordan plans to attend the University of St. Mary to swim and major in Business Administration and Finance. Jordan's advice to underclassmen is even though Hoffman's looks and acts like a grumpy old man, still get to know him, and if you can get past his dry humor and goofy giggle, then you'll get along great. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Riggle. Our final King candidate is Sean Anthony Hoffman. <laughs> Sean is the son of Kevin and Heather Hoffmans. During his time at SHS, Sean has been a member of SHARP, Student Council, Viking Crew, National History Day, Treasurer of FBLA, President of the Seaman High School Bank, Football, and Track. Sean is a National Qualifier in FBLA, 4 star SHARP student, and received the Dean's Honor Roll at Washburn University. After graduation, Sean plans to attend Kansas State University and major in construction science and management with a minor in business. Sean's favorite quote is, would I rather be feared or loved? Easy, both. I want people to, I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Michael Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Hoffman. So John Asia, what is Jordan's favorite Taylor Swift album? Um, okay, I'm going to say 1989. Her answer was 1989. Jordan's answer is, if I die young. <laughs> Next, She says procrastination, it's being nosy. <laughs> <laughs> the next question, what is Jordan's most embarrassing moment? I think 
I used to think babies came out of the butt. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Jordan, is Johnisha a spender or a saver? Spender for sure, but tries to save. Sometimes McDonald's calls her name. My paycheck is immediately spent. Every penny earned is saved, or both. <laughs> go with number one. Number one is correct. Spend it for sure, but tries to save. Sometimes McDonald's just calls her name. <laughs> the next question is, what is John Asia's worst excuse for late work? I blanked it on my brother. I just begged for mercy from the teacher. No excuse. I just didn't show up, or my mom was going into labor. <laughs> uh, she blamed it on her brother. The correct answer is, I said my mom was going into labor when she was actually just pregnant. And then the last question is, what is John Asia's least favorite movie? Mean Girls with fake stereotypes. The B movie, I don't even have to explain why. My Girl, because it was sad and no child should lose their best friend to a bee speed. Bee sting or Twilight, ew. I'm gonna go with Twilight, ew. The correct answer is My Girl. Okay, the first question is, what is Riley's Guilty Pleasure TV show? Spongebob, New Girl, The Office, or Hannah Montana? Um, I'm gonna go with The Office. Haley guesses The Office, and the correct answer is New Girl. My bad, my bad. I'm so sorry. The next question is, is Riley a good driver? If not, why? Yes, he is. No, he pulled out in front of a semi and totaled his car. No, he ran into a McDonald's drive-thru. Or no, he ran over a turtle. I'm gonna go with... <laughs> that he totaled his car. Bailey guesses number two, and the correct answer is he pulled out in front of a semi and totaled his car. Perfect. And then the last question is, what is who is Riley's celebrity crush? Taylor, Taylor Swift. The answer. Correct answer. <laughs> what teacher would Haley go on a road trip with and why? Miss Schaefer or Mrs. Zerm, they're my girls. Mrs. Gita Noble, she's my home dog. None, doesn't sound like fun. Mr. Tinsley, because we'd have so much fun and talk about basketball the whole way. <laughs> Probably number one. Yeah, that's he is correct. Mrs. Schaefer or Mrs. Zerm, because they are her girls. Yes. <coughs> What is Haley's most embarrassing moment? Calling one of my teachers mom, falling asleep in the bathtub and looking like I literally died the next day at school, liking someone's Instagram post from 16 weeks ago, or tripping in front of the whole student section at basketball. Probably number four. That is incorrect. She fell asleep in the bathtub. <laughs> The last question is, who is Haley's celebrity crush? Any of the Spade Boys, Adam Levine, Zac Efron, or Leonardo DiCaprio? Zac Efron. It was any of the Spade Boys. What is Kyle's gas station order? Hot Cheetos, Cherry Slushie, Hot Dog from the Rotating Grill, or Twinkies, Funyuns, and Sweet Tea? I'm gonna go with Twinkies, Bunions, and Sweet Tea. She is correct. What is Kyle's worst excuse for late work? Is it, I just skipped school, my dog ate it, my mom was in the hospital, or I can't reveal my secrets like that? I don't know. Um, how about he just skipped school? Oh. I can't reveal my secrets. The last question is, where would Kyle go on a road trip and with who? California with Kevin Hart, Florida with his mommy, NYC and the boys were Bahamas and Sam. Bahamas with Sam. It was California with Kevin Hart. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. Okay, the first question is, what is Molly's most embarrassing moment? Pooping her pants in the Sonic volleyball court, <laughs> hitting the Shawnee Heights golf coach in the court, spilling a bag of flour all over a worker at Walmart, or making my mom's car stink for weeks because I threw up. <laughs> Good. Go with number two. 
Number two is correct. <laughs> she hit the Shawnee Heights coach with the golf cart during the week. I guess the others weren't embarrassing. Um, what is Molly's favorite Taylor Swift album and why? I hate Taylor Swift. I much prefer Ariana Grande. Speak now because of the memories attached to it. Or 1989 is the only one I know. Number one is incorrect. She loves Taylor Swift and her favorite album is Speak Now. And the last question is, what is Molly's ideal first date? Dinner at Olive Garden. I don't ever see myself dating. I have too high of standards. Taking a math test in the same room. Or being heads. Number one. Number one is correct. The next question is, what is Micah's least favorite movie? Harry Potter, Christmas movie, any chick flick, or high school musical? Um, Christmas movie. That is incorrect. It is basically any chick flick. And what is Micah's most embarrassing moment? I peed on the K-State basketball logo on the court. I forgot my basketball on the way to practice. I fell in front of Bruce Weber, or I drove into my mailbox. Um, he peed on the K-State basketball logo? That is correct. The next candidate is Micah Kovacheski. What is Allie's ideal first date? Anywhere with Christian Bochamp, <laughs> Seaman High School parking lot, amusement park, or I don't really care as long as Taylor is there. Go with one. One is incorrect. It's the amusement part. <laughs> the next question is, what is the worst excuse for late work? Because I didn't feel like doing it. My teacher mom couldn't help me, so I gave up. I was too busy hanging out with Taylor and Sydney, or too hard. I didn't want to try. Um, I don't know. Number two. Number two is incorrect. It was because she didn't feel like doing it. And then the last question is, what is Allie's worst habit? Falling for the same guy over and over and over again, biting her nails, spending too much money, being late to the Viking brew. I feel like it can be all Number two is correct. Her worst habit is biting her nails. It is Jordan Riggles. What is Sean's ideal first date? Take my companion to Elmas Cow, then dessert, and then on a walk. Take them to the dumpster to dive. Showing them my camera roll for an hour, or a nice little picnic at the class of 2020 Alumni Park. Oh, goodness gracious. Is it number one? Yes, Sean would love to take his companion to Elma's Cow, then for dessert, and then on a walk. The next question, is Sean a good driver? If not, why? Duh, I'm the best among the candidates. No, I hit way too many things. No, I run over animals. Nope, just watch me sometime. Okay, so Sean's kind of cocky, so I'm going to go with number one. That is correct. <laughs> he is the best driver. What is Sean's most embarrassing moment? Thinking Mrs. Dowling would fall in love with him, bleaching his hair twice, yikes, getting pants in sixth grade, or wearing mismatched moving women. Oh my goodness. These are all really good. <laughs> Number four. Wrong. Thinking it'd be a good idea to bleach his hair. That was also very unfortunate, I know. <laughs> Last candidate is Sean Hopkins. What teacher would Jordan want to go on a road trip with? Mr. Tuck, because we would have the best conversations about superheroes. Mrs. Welch, I could probably Three. convince her to go skydiving or something crazy. Mr. Hoffman, he's my man, or Mr. Schmidt. Three. It's Mrs. Welch. It's 
When Jordan described herself as a good driver, I hit four deer in a row, so probably not. I passed driver's ed with passing remarks. Definitely no, everyone in my car holds an old crap handle. When I call myself the best, nor the worst. I would go with three because I also hold the old crap handle. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> and the last question is, is Jordan a morning or night person? I do not have a regular sleep schedule. I'm an all day type of person. Do not wake me up in the morning, no matter the circumstance. Definitely morning. Four. She is an all day type of person. <laughs> Riley and Haley, what is your number? They said 12. Uh, 27. Allie and Micah said 27. 77. Sean and Jordan said 77. 36. Molly and Kyle said 36. And John Asia and Jordan said 49. Mr. Riley, your number was? 73. 73. Jordan and Sean are the winners.
Rafael.